Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's I'm in an awkward position, but this is the only way I could film this. Um, today we will be unboxing my I don't know if it's weird, but it's my my present for myself for my birthday. So I got myself an espresso Virtua Plus with um, the Arrochino. Um, I was supposed to just get like the regular. Nespresso Virtua Plus, but it was back ordered in another store that I ordered um, online. So, good thing Macy's had a good deal for this. Um, I bought this for around $150, $150, and it already came with the Arrochino and the Nespresso, plus um, I think the extra pods in it. Um, I really wanted a Nespresso because I felt like my Keurig. My Keurig coffee was a little watered down and that was just not cutting it out for me. So um, that's why I decided to get one for myself. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. All right. Let's start. So it comes with, according to this, it comes with $10, $10 off your first coffee order. Position is just so weird. Sorry. Alright. So when you open it up, we got, we're gonna read this later. So we got some paperwork. And then, this one I already opened ahead of time. This is the Nespresso pods, or not pods, Nespresso capsules. It's not pods because pods are Keurig and these are called capsules. So it comes with this. They're so pretty. So it comes, this comes uh, with your order. And there's like 12, 12 um, capsules in there. And then it also tells you, what it focuses. It also tells you what it is. There's even one here that's like, if you can see, that's an 11. The strength is an 11. I don't know if I could take that. But yeah, these are the pot, uh, the capsules. Can't wait to try them out. And then, this is the, the holder for your cup. I wish I had a better angle, but let's just make do. All right. All right, so this is the Arrochino or the milk frother that came with it. If you buy this by itself, it's gonna be a um, hundred dollars, so that's why it's a good deal. We'll open that up later. And then of course, Um, this is the water um, container or reservoir. It's so satisfying. Set this aside for now. For now. All right. Let's do this. So here is the Nespresso coffee and espresso maker. So this one, this water reservoir, attaches to here. And then this actually moves so you can rotate it or move it to whichever position you would want so that um, if you want to reserve space or, or conserve space, um, you can do that. And then this one, this goes to this section here. So if you're making like a small cup, um, tall cup, so you can, there's different levels. And then at the back, here, let's remove that first. This part here is where your um, used, your used 
capsules will go. Let me just um, set this up. Let me uh, clean out the machine first and then we'll go ahead and test one of the um, coffee capsules. All right, I was able to set up the Nespresso. I just put it in my little corner here. And um, I turned, I also did the cleaning first. Like you have to run it, I think like five minutes and it would, this button here will turn orange and now it's green. So it's done with the um, cleanup. So what we'll do is if we want to brew coffee or espresso, whatever you want, just press this and it opens it up. And this part here, let's go closer. That is where you put your pot or your, I keep on saying pods, that's your capsule. Okay, so we have this Nespresso freebie and I've decided to use, because it's like 5.30 in the morning and <laughs> I just came home from work so I don't want to be awake all day, good thing it's my day off. Um, let's try and try Columbia. Because Columbia, or should I do? I'm tempted to do the decaffeinated. Decafien, it's like decaffeinated. But that's like six compared to Columbia, which is five. So, who cares? I'm off anyway. Let's use the Columbia. The Columbia capsule. So the capsules, it's too bright. Capsules look like this, and then um, in front of the capsule it says Columbia. So what you do, put the capsule like that. Let's move our camera a little bit. Zoom out. And then you just press this. Zoom in. You press this green button here and just wait for it to continue. So our coffee is done, and if you can see, if it would focus, the camera is not cooperating today, guys. You see that little, it's like a froth, but it's not really a froth, it's a, that's what they call crema. And what's crema? Let's look at our cheat sheet. So um, crema, any brewing method that extracts the coffee under pressure pushes oils from the coffee beans and creates the foam on top of the glass. So that's why every Nespresso um, coffee you would make will have the crema. And let's try to taste it. I usually, nowadays I try to drink my coffee black, so we'll find out what this tastes like. Hmm. Not too bad, and it's not watered down like the Keurig ones. And this is actually good. I mean, the experience is totally different, and it smells so good. You know that usually when you drink um, coffee, you would have that bit super bitter aftertaste? This doesn't, I don't know, it's still bitter, but it doesn't have that burnt aftertaste. It's just good, and I think it's worth it. I'm gonna finish drinking that. But um, what you could do to dispose the capsule, 
just open this up. Voila, it goes to the back. So yeah, I, I love, for now my verdict is I love this machine and I think it's worth it. But um, I would suggest to look for deals. I don't want to, for me as a consumer, I don't really want to pay full, full price for stuff. So just look for deals, usually um, Bloomingdale's, Macy's, or even Amazon sometimes have um, sales. So yeah, go ahead and, and check those sites up. And I can't wait to finish this. So yeah, I love my coffee. Um, maybe next time I'll try it with milk. But for now, I'm going to drink this black. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye.